Don't get too used to that intro quite yet. I figure it's still a little bit early to be throwing it in before every single video, but since this is technically the first holiday themed video here on my channel this year, it only felt right to kick it off strong. Make sure to subscribe if you have yet to do so. I post new videos twice a week on Wednesdays and Sundays exactly at 11 11 a.m. so you don't want to miss out on all of the fun. But as for this video, I have 35 plus amazing gift ideas that you can buy right now from Amazon Prime. I thought it might be kind of fun to split up this video into different sections. That way, if you want to bundle up any of these gifts, you can do so really, really easily. So the first section are gifts for the beauty guru in your life. If you know somebody who blow dries their hair multiple times a week and they don't already have the Revlon hair dryer, then they absolutely need it. This has a brush head, so it makes making your hair look like you just left a salon super attainable, even for people who aren't good at doing hair like me. So if somebody that you know loves doing hair, but they don't already have this tool, they absolutely need it. And along the lines of different hair tools, I also recommend buying a hair waiver from Amazon on. I love mine and they have a huge selection on there and this is another tool that's perfect for people who aren't great at doing hair but like testing out different styles and want to achieve that crimped look without breaking the bank. Another go-to product from Amazon Prime that has been a game changer for me is Babe Lash. My eyelashes used to be short and stubby and I never could grow them no matter what I used and then I tried out Babe Lash and I have seen the biggest difference. I'm obsessed with it. It's honestly very very affordable and has lasted me a very long time and it's also on Prime. So if you know somebody who struggles in that area much like I did, then definitely buy them that and they will thank you. And then just for makeup lovers in general, I feel like you can never go wrong with buying a vanity mirror. I feel like every girl could use a new vanity mirror, especially if it has really, really good lighting. There's nothing worse than doing your makeup in poor lighting. And for any college student, this is essential because we all know the lighting in dorm rooms is awful. Introducing the next section, which includes gifts for the self-care enthusiast, much like myself. I love this section. Personally, if I received any of these gifts, I would be so happy. Much like any of the gifts on this list, I feel like I would be jumping up and down if I opened any of them. The first one in the self-care section is a fluffy robe. I personally got my fluffy robe from Amazon and I have received so many compliments on it from you guys. It comes in so many different colors. It is so soft, feels so luxurious, and it's also really, really affordable. So I 10 out of 10 would recommend that you buy this robe for anybody in your life Honestly, it doesn't matter who they are, you can't not love it. I think I'm even gonna buy myself a new one, if we're being honest. Right now, I have a dusty rose color, and I really want an all black robe. I feel like that would look really, really cool, and for the incoming winter time, only feels right. Next up is bath bombs. I feel like everyone, when it comes to wanting to buy someone bath bombs or buy yourself bath bombs, your first thought is to go to Lush. But honestly, if you go to Lush and try and buy a pack of them, it's gonna end up being really expensive. But if you go to Amazon and you use Amazon Prime, then you can buy a whole bundle of bath bombs for like a fraction of the price. Along the same lines, I think a really, really good gift to buy somebody would be some face masks. And I'm not talking about the face masks that we wear because of coronavirus. Although, if you wanna buy someone that, it's also a very good gift because wear your mask, it's very important to do so. But I'm talking about skincare face masks. You can buy a whole pack of them on Amazon. Again, have it cater the needs of whoever you're buying them for. And it's really honestly kind of customizable because if you know that the person who you're buying this gift for struggles with dry skin, then you can buy them hydrating face masks and it seems like an extra little touch of personalization thrown in there in the gift. So I'll have a few linked down below again, but this is always a really simple yet effective gift. Nail polish is another very simple yet effective gift. You could either go the classic nail polish route or you can buy a gel nail polish kit. Amazon has both options, so I will have both options down below for you. Especially if you're buying somebody a robe, I feel like slippers are a really nice add-on to that gift. And especially if you're buying, say, a pink robe and then you buy matching pink slippers, it kind of looks like you bought it as a set and then makes everything seem a bit more personal. I would love to receive that. Also a very underrated gift to receive are pajama sets. I know a lot of families do matching pajama sets every single year. Personally, my family has never been one of those families, but I do know that Amazon has a bunch of matching pajama sets if you want to start that tradition with somebody or you just think that one of your friends or family members might enjoy that. I think it's an amazing gift and kind of overlooked. 
So let's bring it back. This is always one of my favorite sections and it is gifts for the techie in your life. Of course, these gifts are normally on the pricier side. So if you don't feel like spending this much, I totally understand that it didn't feel right to do this video without doing this section. One thing that I personally got off of Amazon Prime is my AirPods. They have both the older version of the AirPods and the newer version on there. And I love them. They are such an amazing investment that I made for myself. Once I ditched the wires, it, it's like the game changed. The audio is amazing. And if you don't feel like spending all of the money on AirPods, I'm sure they have other amazing dupes for it. Also on Amazon Prime, you just gotta do a little digging. But lucky for you, I'm doing the digging for you. So I'll see what I can find. <laughs> this one's probably on the more inexpensive side if you do your shopping correctly. But I think another really fun gift to receive are laptop or desktop accessories, whether it be a fun laptop case or maybe a new mouse trackpad or I don't know, anything that can kind of live on your desk or charge your devices and look kind of cute. I feel like that's another really good gift idea. Again, definitely on the pricier side, but I think any techie in your life would really appreciate receiving an Apple Watch for Christmas. I didn't even realize that they sold these on Amazon, but they do. And especially during these times, I think it is a lot more convenient and a lot safer to just order it online rather than trekking into the actual brick and mortar store. But of course, if you wanna do that, I'm not here to judge. It's more so me offering you maybe a more convenient option. Obviously, Echo Dots and Alexas are sold on Amazon, but I think that's kind of a given. In. And then another gift that I think people would love, especially if you're buying this for someone who is in Generation Z, maybe on the earlier side of Generation Z, are TikTok lights or otherwise known as LED lights. These lights can be put on your ceiling or on your bed frame and it just adds this really cool glow of pretty much any color you want to your room. People love these. I personally don't have any of them, but I know a lot of people who do and every single person raves about them, so you can't go wrong. Another thing that I found on TikTok, but this time something I think I would actually really enjoy receiving is a star projector light. My best friend Lisa has this and I think it's the coolest thing in the world. It just makes your room look so dope and I think anybody would enjoy receiving this. Next up are gifts for the organizer in your life. We all know those people who always seem to have their life together and although I think it is an innate quality in somebody, I also don't think it hurts to have really good materials on hand. So I think these gift ideas are a good place to start. The first of which is buying somebody a 2021 planner and I've seen the memes and I think it's so funny and I relate to it where people say that the worst purchase that they made this year was buying a 2020 planner. And although I agree because there was nothing to really plan for this year, I think buying somebody a planner for the upcoming year is a sign of hope that things are going to get better and that you're going to have things to look forward to. So if you guys are like me in that mindset and I don't know, just try and shine any little bit of optimism into life that you can. I think that's a really good gift to give somebody. Similar to that, I think buying somebody a bullet journal is a really cute gift. And on top of that, you can buy them really nice pens to journal or write in their planner with. And then for the people that you know that like taking planning and journaling to the next level, you can buy them a few sheets of stickers. I feel like this is a gift that, although it sounds really simple, people would really enjoy, especially if you know that the person you're buying this gift for has a particular aesthetic that they like to follow or any hobbies like I don't know playing basketball you can probably find basketball stickers it's easy as that to just personalize a gift even a little bit this section hits home because it is me these gifts are for the photographer or videographer in your life let's start off with the basics buying somebody a disposable camera will probably make their day disposable cameras are something that i've only gotten into more recently and i honestly haven't done too many of them but anytime that i do i I always appreciate it because I think it's a very unique way to document memories and I'm sure I'm not alone in that. So buying somebody a disposable camera or two I think would be a really sweet gift. And then if you choose to do that and you want to take that gift to the next level, definitely buy somebody a photo album. I did this as a early quarantine activity where I printed out a bunch of my pictures and put them into a photo album and I am so appreciative that I did that. It's just a really nice keepsake and I don't know, it just, it brings me so much joy. So if you know somebody who is on the sentimental side and you think that would really appreciate this gift, definitely don't hesitate to buy them a photo album. I promise they will love it. Kind of a step 
up from buying somebody a disposable camera would be buying them a Polaroid camera. I have one of these and I love it so much. I used it a whole lot a few years back, but I know some people who still use it religiously and it's yet another really sweet way of documenting memories aside from taking pictures on your phone. But speaking of taking pictures on your phone, especially if you know somebody who makes TikToks, I feel like this would be a lot of fun if you bought them a fisheye lens for their camera. There are some little camera lens that will like clip on to your phone and go right over your camera and then it gives your photos or your videos a really cool fisheye effect. And now we're gonna talk gifts for the chef in your life. This is not me. I am so far from being a chef. The most that I can really make is avocado toast, but I make a mean avocado toast. So I guess we can kind of just start there. One thing that I always put on my avocado toast that I just feel like would elevate it even more is hot sauce. And there's this one hot sauce that's on Amazon Prime that I have been wanting for such a long time. If anybody that I know is watching this and they want to get me a gift, please get me the truff hot sauce. It's essentially just fancy schmancy hot sauce. It has truffle oil in it. And as someone who loves truffle, this is just such an amazing gift. And I would probably put this on everything that I eat ever. But if you don't know somebody who would enjoy truffle hot sauce as much as I would, or you just want to keep the gift a bit more simple, you can buy them a cookbook. I know so many cookbooks are on Amazon. I believe Chrissy Teigen's is on there and a whole bunch of others. You can also buy more niche cookbooks. I know that they have a lot for for college students, like recipes that you can make in a college dorm room, or if anybody has any dietary restrictions, you can also buy them a cookbook that lends well to those dietary restrictions. Or if you wanna get more quirky with your gift giving, I guess quirky is a word that you could use, you can buy them a fun kitchen gadget. Um, I saw one which is like a breakfast sandwich maker and it has all these different sections where you can put an English muffin and then some bacon and then an egg and it makes you a little breakfast sandwich which I think sounds really really cool and I kind of want to buy that for myself but then you can also buy something maybe a bit more practical like a set of kitchen utensils or a mini waffle maker just things that are coming to mind <laughs> And finally, the section I think is most appropriate for the stage of life that I'm in and I think a lot of the stages of life that you guys are in as well. And that is gifts for the hostess. I feel like this gift you can never go wrong with and it is a cocktail shaker set paired with a bottle of alcohol of the person's choice. Personally, I love tequila. So if somebody got me a nice bottle of tequila, or not even nice, God, I just got out of college. I don't need nice alcohol. If somebody got me a bottle of tequila with a cocktail shaker set, I feel like that would just make me so happy. And it's a very personalized gift without going too over the top. But if you do want to take that gift to the next level, you can buy them a cocktail recipe book, much like a cookbook, but for the people who don't know how to cook and it gives you so many ideas and again that's something that can be easily customizable because i'm sure that they have books dedicated to drinks that are only made with a certain type of alcohol one of my favorite gifts to receive oddly enough are different types of card games there's one in particular that i saw on amazon recently which is called for the girls it's made by the same creator as what do you mean and i feel like giving somebody this as a gift is also really fun because it's the easiest pastime that you can do with friends and also gets people really amped so if you know somebody who is also very very social this might be the gift for them especially in recent years I feel like cheese boards and charcuterie boards have become oh so trendy and buying somebody a really cute cheese board and maybe a set of little cheese knives is a really nice gift and it's more of an adult gift if you will you could always buy somebody a speaker especially if you know that they love hosting parties pre-pandemic of course but I feel like an amplified version of that gift would be buying somebody a record player especially if you want to personalize that gift you could pair the record player with an album that you know that they'll love and it's a really nice personal gift that would make anybody smile and that my friends concludes my Amazon Prime gift guide. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, leave me a comment down below telling me one gift that you plan on giving this year for the holidays. You don't have to tell me who you're giving this gift to if you wanna keep it a secret, but I would love to hear all of your ideas. But I'll talk to you guys very soon in my next video on Sunday and I love you guys very much.